Well, Corey just got out of jail a couple of months ago. He doesn't have a car or a driver's license. So he told me this program is crucial to helping him keep a steady job and provide for his family. They'll be here in like two minutes. Corey Fensel has spent the past nine years in prison. When he was sentenced, the idea of ride shares was just gaining ground. Lyft started in 2012. And it blew my mind, like, so just some strangers come pick you up? Corey heard about it in jail. A lot of the things that I remember back from 2010, are like obsolete, they don't, they don't even matter now. When Corey was released in September, he moved in with his wife and his nine-year-old son. Yeah, I've been home 90 days, that's it, and I've worked every day. Corey got a job at a Valley restaurant. Washing dishes. But he needed a way to get there and back. Getting on the bus, taking the bus to work, having to walk, like it's, you gotta you gotta leave like three, four hours in advance just to make sure you don't be late. Through a pilot program, Hope for Prisoners helps people like Corey save money and time on his commute. So the first time I did it, it was like, oh man, I was nervous. I didn't, I was reluctant to just pull on the door like that. With me working, I'm working for my family. I don't wanna be working so much that I miss out on my family. So Lyft, it, 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 it allows me to to be there. Hope for Prisoners says finding a job can be tough, getting there shouldn't be. Some of them on the outskirts of town, so some of the construction jobs that we have are uh, in brand new areas in the city where they're uh, currently building, but we need to have a way to get our, our clients back and forth to that job site, then they become part of that tax base. They become the fuel and the economic engine of our community. And Lyft has job access programs like this one in more than 35 other cities. Hope for Prisoners wants to expand the one here to pay for people's rides to job interviews as well. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.